it's time to move on to our neighboring country, China. The Chinese were smart enough to perceive the danger of allowing the Europeans to trade freely in their country. They had permitted restricted trade of tea and silk. Macau was the major port city in China from where the Europeans were permitted to trade. Since Chinese were not interested in any European goods, the Europeans had to pay up in form of gold and silver. Then the Europeans discovered the Chinese weakness, opium. They forced Indian laborers to produce opium and smuggled it to China, where it was in huge demand. When the smuggling of the opium increased, China broke trade relations with the Europeans. This led to opium wars between the European nations and China. China was defeated and Europeans imposed several strict terms and conditions of trade on China. They forced China to allow them to set their trade enclaves in China and trade freely and give heavy discounts on silk and tea. The Europeans, however, did not take China under the direct political control and allowed the Chinese emperor to continue his rule. Soon, Japan also joined the European powers and invaded China and started getting cheap raw materials from China. Japan also forced China to buy the products made in Japan and collected revenues from the Chinese government. 